Hey everyone, let's do a hair tutorial, shall we? So this tutorial is going to be on my I'm lazy, but I did something. This is, that's what that look is. I'm going to be looking this way because this is where the mirror is. So I have like three hairstyles basically. One, shower and let it air dry. That's the I'm really lazy and I'm doing nothing. This one is going to be the I'm lazy, but I made an attempt. And then I also have, I am lazy, but I had to do something to look really nice. So I can do a tutorial on that as well. This is my, I'm lazy, but I tried. Okay, step one, shower. Step two, braid. I do Dutch braids and I do two. You can do one, you can do two, you can do three, you can do four. You can do French braid, you can do Dutch braid. It doesn't matter. However many braids you do, the smaller the crimps will be, and whether you do Dutch or French, I have not seen a difference. I've done both. Step three, sleep. That's it. And then in the morning, this is what you look like. So this one, the hair tie broke, but whatever. So it's all fuzzy, like I definitely can't go out like this. But, so step four or something? I don't know. Step four, take out your braids gently so you can maintain the crimp as best as you can. Today I am going to a meeting with a professor to talk about aquatic research and hopefully get sponsorship for it. I'm not going to tell you my idea because I don't want y'all to steal it, but maybe if it goes well and I get the sponsorship, then I can tell you. I have three ideas and they're all pretty darn good if I must say myself, so but don't ask me because I will not tell you. Crimps are out. And this looks really stupid because it's so flat on top and I don't wear a middle part. I look like I should be wearing a flower crown and dancing at Coachella. Here's the next step, okay? To fix these flat roots, I'm gonna go in with a Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy Bodybuilding Dry Shampoo. This one is orange mango. I've also had, what is it, vanilla coconut or something? They all smell so good. So, but Not Your Mother's is my favorite. Not Baptiste, what is it, Bestiste? Baptiste or Bedhead or whatever. No, Not Your Mother's, always. So I'm gonna lift up the crown back here. Spray. Come forward an inch. Spray. Come forward an inch. Spray. Forward an inch. Right, and then right in the front. Okay, then I'm gonna lift up the left side so I have this side part. Spray. Then do it to the other side. That's it. Now I'm going to flip it upside down. Just do this to my scalp and then flip it right side up and we'll see the body. So here's the before. Yikes, that's flat. Okay, and now I'll show you the after. Oh, girl, you got some volume. So next step, I'm using my own homemade texturizing spray. Should I tell you how to make this or should I sell it? Okay, I'll tell you how to make it. So I got this bottle for 99 cents from Walmart and it's one cup of water, heat it up in the microwave, put one tablespoon of coconut oil, one tablespoon of leave-in conditioner. I used the It's a 10 with keratin, I believe, a tablespoon of salt, and just so it smells good, I put in a few drops of essential oil. That's what you do, cup of warm water, tablespoon, coconut oil, tablespoon leave-in conditioner, tablespoon of salt, and then a couple drops of essential oil if you want. So there's your texturizing spray. Because it's homemade and there's no preservatives or emulsifiers or anything, you will have to shake it up before you use it. And now I'm going to use it. Also, this spray bottle is really good for 99 cents. So what I do, slightly spray like this. You just scrunch it like this. Okay, so now I part it how I want it, 
And now I look like Eliza Thornberry. So that's the look. Hope you like it. Try it. Tag me on something. Send me a photo. Whatever. This will last me like four days. And by, I think, like day three and four, I shower, guys. I just don't wash my hair every day. On day three or four, I will put in a ponytail with a baseball cap, and then it's like a big, um, poofy, a big, like, poofy pony, and it's cute, too. Let me know if you try it, if you like it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.